Hey guys, the next speakers I want to introduce is Mr. John Botel and Mr. Simon Warner. They are the organizers of the Internet Marketing Summit in Las Vegas this year and um, they're going to talk to us about how to make money with a small email list. So in other words, how can you start earning affiliate commissions if you don't really have a big email list, as well as how to build your business from small to bigger. So enjoy. Cheers. Okay, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Simon Warner. And I'm John Botwell, apparently. Uh, after EDR, I've got to change my name. And together we are Wild Stallions. <laughs> right, what we're going to do is now, we just ask everyone to take a seat. Yes, even you at the back, Saul. Saul is not listening to me, so I'll keep saying Saul until he listens to me. Saul. Saul. Sit. I can, no, definitely. Well, I'm going to come visit Germany yes. soon. Next year, I'm traveling through Germany. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm in the south of Germany. Uh, Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to get through today's speech as fast as I can, because I'm not sure my voice is going to last the whole thing. But we're going to do the best we can. The first thing, the very first thing I wanted to do before we actually get into any of the content, is uh, thank the two people that are here. And I think you should all actually thank these two people. Because without them, none of this happens. So let's start by just a big round of applause. I would love to take the credit for that, but actually, John has worked day and night to put on the event. He really has worked day and night, uh, many phone calls to Las Vegas, to speaking to very many people to make sure that you all have a great event. Um, Michelle and I have done, I think, six together. We did the first one with Richard. Richard will be able to tell you what an absolute, absolute fun it is putting on these events, isn't it, Richard? And that's why he actually had a full head of hair before we did the first one in Manchester. He had lovely, lovely locks. Anyway. Right, yeah, let's get into the content. Um, basically, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna quickly tell you a little bit about my history, uh, how I met this lovely man here, uh, and then what we went to do together, and we're gonna actually go through a case study of uh, something we did in affiliate promotion, exactly showing you all the steps we took, the results we got, to allow you to just pretty much copy it and, uh, and do what we did. Now, I'm not gonna say you can get the same results, but you're certainly gonna have an advantage over everybody who isn't doing the stuff that we were doing, because we do go the extra mile. Okay, so uh, first things first, this is me. John Butler, apparently. Uh, Butler. Uh, it is actually Botel. All my life I've got used to people mispronouncing it, but it is Botel. Um, so I've been a full-time online entrepreneur since 2001. I specialized in e-com. That's what I did for uh, most of my career, probably about 15 years of it. Uh, 14 years, up until about 18 months ago. Uh, during that time I sold very, very close to $90 million worth of products online. That's okay, you can shout bullshit. It's fine. <laughs> there you go, that's it. It's interactive. Um, no, it's true, it really was 90 million. Um, a lot of costs involved in that, but uh, there's a major problem with my business model, uh, and that was that the banks didn't like it very much, and they actually ended up uh, about 18 months ago coming in and told us we couldn't do it anymore. So uh, what we did is I had to go looking for something else to do, and what happened was uh, I actually fell into a, uh, this wonderful world of I am. I uh, found a, a course, I uh, found a mentor, went through that, uh, launched a product, and I uh, sold, I think it was four, four units. It was a good, it was a good launch. It was, it was a good launch. And um, it was a disaster. To be honest, I lost, I lost thousands of dollars in doing it. And then I attended this event in Liverpool. And I met this wonderful man here. We launched a product together. I'm giving you the, the speedy version. We launched a product together. Um, a few months later, did a hundred and... Yeah, I, I think 100, like, 110 plus yeah. the reoccurring on the on the back as well. So that was, that was uh, over five years. But you know that's not really what this talks about. I'm just giving you the history of where we are. What we're going to talk today is a full case of it. Sorry, Tom, where are you? Where the hell you came from? Well, I'm going to pull you back to what uh, EBR was saying earlier on, and that's uh, guilt by association. Um, I had a little dabble in the internet marketing world. And in London, uh, I lived in Spain at the time, and in London, uh, two guys called a uh, Paul Clifford and Justin Wheeler were holding an internet marketing event. And I obviously wanted to attend and thought, well, 
what can I contribute to that? And I offered to do a hypnosis show. Um, there was a lot of people in there, there was like internet marketing legends like Dean Holland there. And to get myself on the same level as the guys who were speaking, I performed my hypnosis show. And suddenly people wanted to talk to me and were interested in what I was doing from there. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't want to, you know, uh, Paul moved to California for some reason, I don't know, he must like sunshine. Uh, so I decided to get together with Richard and we put on the first marketing summit in Manchester. And people took, started to get to know me from putting on the events and the speakers, <clears throat> with the great speakers that we had, and that built up my list of JV partners and, you know, we went on and I've gone on now to do launches that have done over $700,000 on one lunch that we did in Convergery. So that's basically my backstory is my skill is getting to know people. <laughs> <laughs> Why you and I am. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump straight to this case study. So what it is is actually an affiliate case study that we, uh, we did an affiliate promotion. This is kind of the bare bones of it, this skeleton overview. So we have um, uh, emailing, uh, social media, um, going to various different places, and I actually did some solos in this. I'm not going to talk about solos um, because as we went down the line and, and tried to repeat this model, we found that the solos didn't actually pay dividends. Um, they built bits of your list, wasn't very responsive, wasn't really worthwhile, um, but because we're doing a case study today, I have left it in the slides, but more or less you can ignore it. I didn't want to leave anything out. So if you're going to do this, you're going to need to grab a pen because this presentation usually goes about an hour and a half. We've only got about 50 minutes now. So I'm gonna to have to go double speed for this. I'm not gonna miss anything out. We're gonna go through the whole thing of what we did. So this is the grand overview. These are the results. So these are daily shots out of the JV Zoo. We have, what, 1,471, another 1,000. That was the first day, 2,300, and a couple of 700 days. It's totaling, the whole week totaled out around about seven grand uh, in affiliate commissions. That's less than 20 minutes work a day. Literally, you know, I do affiliate work as a nice bit of bonus business on top of everything else I'm doing because I can do it 20 minutes a day before the kids get up. It's easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And this case study, once we, this was the first one we did, I think. Yeah. And it's the first one we did. Um, we've repeated it multiple times since then. It isn't something you can run every single week because it, you want to plan time now, um, and you can't guarantee it's going to work every week. You may get two out of four. You may get, get one out of four. But we're getting probably, I would say, probably half of the time. We, we do pretty well, land on, an, on, a, on a leaderboard somewhere. First thing to do is tell you you don't need a list. It's got a, um, really a, a bit of a, a confession for you because um, I've actually got a small one. And I have a really big one. <laughs> so he says. <laughs> You don't need a list. Now, I do, I do actually have a list. It's grown a little bit since then, but I've got to actually, by people in this, stand, uh, in this room's standard, I have a tiny list, tiny, minuscule list. It's about a thousand buyers, okay? So it's, it's no big at all. Um, you don't need a list, because what you can do is actually leverage the skills that you do have to get a share of a bigger list. Simon, Simon has the big one. This is where Simon comes into the equation. I have a certain skill set. One of my skills is I work hard, I get up early, I do lots of things. I also can build pages very fast, but that's my skill set. As uh, anyone who knows me knows that I have absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever. I can just about now put a bonus page together, just, but it won't be very pretty. I have no technical skills and I'm actually quite lazy. But I think that's the thing. One thing that certainly uh, larger affiliates are, they're cash rich and time poor. They want to be doing other things rather than doing the kind of grunt work, which I kind of do. And I don't mind it, I like the grunt work, it, it's fine for me. And as I said, once you get into a system of doing this, you literally can do it, I think it takes me about an hour to do a, a, a promotion now, if I'm doing a full video with it, a little bit longer, but not much. Because um, it's just about repeating uh, the system over and over, it just becomes second nature and you can do it very quick. Uh, so basically we're talking about relationships, that's what it all comes down to, the idea of building relationships with people who have a bigger, more powerful list than you, so you can leverage your skills to get a share of that list and promote together as a team. So the big question is, why would anybody bother? Why would they want to share their big list with you when they can just do it themselves? Well, maybe they won't. You know, not everybody in this room will, so I know uh, the last time I was speaking to Bill Eagle, 
I kind of mentioned this concept to him. First thing he says to me, I love it. Because I'm lazy, I don't want to have to do the shit work. I want to have somebody do it for me. And of course they could VA it, but then, you know, they really want somebody with some kind of marketing skills to do this, who kind of knows the ins and outs of the business. So uh, you're in quite a good position. There's lots of things you can bring to the table. You can offer to build the bonuses, actually create bonuses congruent to the offer. Um, Todd was talking about bonuses just before, and it's <coughs> impossible. I would say, would you agree, impossible to land a leaderboard without bonuses? Yeah, um, unless you are working some kind of witchcraft, you won't put on, you, you won't hit it just by filling in an email and send, hit and send. You'll get a good promotion, but you're not going to win the prizes. I mean, we put a couple of days into our promotion, getting our bonus together for EBR, um, for his expert fame product. We won that, and that was a seven and a half thousand dollar prize for that one. Yep. We really, really worked together. We, we offered amazing bonuses for that. We offered consulting calls. We offered to, you know, put some interviews together for people. The one thing to do is though, uh, we even with for tickets for this as well. Yeah, we even offered some tickets for this for buying a product. Uh, I think we've got someone in here who actually has come from buying expert frame through our link. Are you in today? No, she's not. She's in the room. I won't see her. Yeah. So you can offer to build the bonuses. You can offer to build the bonus pages. Now I'm going to show you the template of what I do on this. It literally takes me like 30 minutes now because I follow the same structure on everyone. You can offer to set up a small Facebook campaign. You can offer to handle all of the social media during the launch while it's going on. Lots of people don't do this. They just rely on the email. They don't look at the other aspects. This is why I say, if you don't want to partner up, if you don't want to get a share of a large list, you can still make money through affiliate marketing using other methods. You can offer to do a review video. Anymore, is that uh, you can offer to do a whole YouTube campaign. And I, I would encourage you, YouTube is one of the biggest sources of traffic for us. We get a lot of uh, traffic from our YouTube. The best way to find these partners, to find these bigger affiliates with a big list, is at live events. Because it's about building relationships. That's what it's all about. I so, can promise you that there are going to be people in this room right now who you can, have a, you can do business with. There are so many people who come to the events uh, you've just seen grow. I mean, you know, there's people here who are speaking at our events who, you know, like John, like Kevin, who've come as attendees and taken the attend the chances that are offered at a live event and built the business that way. The one thing I always say is you can get a golden nugget just with a conversation with someone. You can have one golden nugget that can add a zero to your business just from a little aha moment. And there's plenty of people here who you speak to who have been to live events and you know they've met partners, they've found some tricks, you know, they've they've gone there and taken the business in another dimension because someone can have a look at what they can do and the skill set that they have that's too close to themselves. And uh, yeah, I've just seen somebody in there, I'm gonna tell a funny story about him in a minute. <laughs> um, but the one thing you have got to do when you're at a live event, and I'm just going to go off on a little uh, subject here, and there's a gentleman there just standing at the door called Steve Ben. Steve Ben was at the uh, at the event that I was mentioning earlier, and Steve Ben did an amazing talk about the seven signals that you can find from a con man and what they will do to con you. Steve came on, did this amazing talk, and then the person followed him, went on and pitched and did exactly the seven things Stephen talked about. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen on internet marketing. If you, I'm not gonna name who that is. If you want to know, buy Steve Ben a drink. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> yeah. um, this is the place to do it. This is the place to build the relationships. Okay, to do this, these are the things you need. These are the tools. You need a Facebook account, a Twitter account, a YouTube account, which you're gonna have if you've got a Gmail address anyway. You know, for this case study, you need a JVZoo account, but it could quite easily be ClickBank, ClickShaw, it could be any kind of affiliate network, you just need an account there. Uh, a PayPal account, if you want to get paid. Um, Autoresponder system of some kind, because uh, certainly in some of the aspects of this, we build lists at the same time. Um, you'll want a Bitly account, because uh, some of the things we're going to be doing are going to require uh, link, <coughs> link cloakers of some sort. This is based on a free account. If you already have a paid service for link cloaking, you won't need that. 
Um, some kind of page builder, I guess we're in the internet marketing niche, so all of us should have at least a page builder of some sort, and video editing software. I like it, I think video does exceptionally well for us, um, and I'd encourage you to do the same. So, here it is, it's a seven step system. We're gonna rattle through. You've gotta find something to promote. You need to do this about two weeks in advance. You've gotta give yourself time in order to do it. <laughs> so yeah, find something to promote. There are a, a couple of classic examples of things to promote either side of the stage, particularly this one. <laughs> okay, so Munchai, or any of the online directories. But Munchai is a great place to go. You can see launches coming up for months in advance. Uh, and you just need to go through and find something that you think um, you're going to be able to tell a good story about. Because that's what it's about. Marketing is about telling stories. So find something on Munchai. Check the Facebook groups. You know, Facebook has tons of groups dedicated to internet marketing and JV launches. Go to jvzoo.com and request to become an affiliate of that product that you've chosen. Now, this is the important part, and if you do nothing else, this will improve your affiliate work. Actually get a copy to review, because it's very useful to know what you're selling when you're trying to sell something. But how many affiliate marketers don't, honestly? I, th I think the amount of uh, people like to get a review copy just so that they know that there's actually a product. <laughs> um, if you actually review the tool, you know, uh, there's times where people have sent us a copy of, and John's actually sat there and reviewed it and gone, we can't promote this, there's no way we can get this to actually work. So we don't mail it out if it doesn't work. It's important. You know, the, the industry has a bad enough reputation it is that, uh, you know, we, we as affiliates can police it and make it better by not promoting products that are shit. It's really easy. <laughs> if they didn't get affiliate support, they'd start making better products. So there are people who do really, really test them uh, test them really, really hard. There's a couple of people uh, I want to mention for that. Is Brett in the room? No, he left. Yeah, don't give Brett a product that doesn't work. <laughs> he will tell you. Uh, and also, Michael Formby does good test things in a uh, in great detail. Yeah. Okay, so you got your review copy. Make sure you actually have the time to review it. It's kind of important. What's the point in having it? It's not just about getting free products, although I know a lot of affiliates think that. Ask the developer if they have any stock bonuses. Many times they'll have them ready for you. Okay? Here's the thing that I like to do, that I don't think a lot of other people do. I like to take their stock bonuses and rewrap them in my own covers because everybody else is offering the same thing and most buyers don't bother to look. They just look at the image. They don't bother to read if it's the same product. So if I can rewrap it in my own e-cover and just put that on my bonus page rather than the, the stock bonuses that everybody else has got makes my page stand out from everybody else. People do bonus collect as well. You can get the bonus, uh, if you're really clever, you can get the bonus if it's a plugin. Find a developer for you know, $50, $100 who can make it something else, give it a new name, and people will not notice because that half of them do not look at what they are, the bonuses. They just like to collect bonuses. There's a lot of people going, yes, I know how they <laughs> Okay, you've got the stock bonuses. You want to add your own bonuses and be creative. Think of the things, think of the skills that you can offer to the potential customers that are congruent with the, with the product you're trying to sell. It has to match. It's no point, you know, trying to sell something as a bonus that, that makes no sense with the product. It just doesn't work. If, you can, if you've got something as a skill, you'll be amazed how few people actually will claim the bonuses. I think it was a promotion I did with Richard. Where, was it a logo design? We did, and we think we saw 200 and have, I think four people collected the logo out of all that, and that was a logo design done by a professional designer. Yeah, so, I mean, seriously, you can offer a service. Don't worry about the volume of sales that you might be getting, because the service that you can offer, so few of those people will actually be <laughs> claiming it, that you will be able to manage it. I think less than, I think of all products sold on JVZoo, EBR will be able to correct me on this, I think even less than half of them are actually even collected. People don't even go to the thank you page the product that they bought or log in. If you're a vendor, just have a check. You can see in JVZoo the IP addresses of people who've logged in and so few people even log in and download the product they bought so they're not going to be claiming your consultation call. How many consultation calls did you give? We sold uh, on, this, on this one, we did, a, uh, we did a personal consultation. I think we sold 160 units. And How many claims? I gave two. Uh -huh. 
So that's a 1% claim rate on a consultation. And I thought I wasn't hiding. <laughs> I was on, an e on an e-com product from a guy who's done 90 million in e-com. And two people claimed it. It's a crazy world. Um, okay, zip the bonuses into one file. I actually don't like using the JVZ delivery system. I just like to hold things because I know where they are. If things go wrong, I can, I can then update them easily. Um, but you can actually upload them into JVZ. I actually hold mine on an S3. Uh, but all zip together, so you don't have to go hunting, it's just one link, you can just download everything together. I actually like collecting the stock bonuses from the vendor, putting them with my own in just one big file. Just keeps it all together. So you can have the download for your S3, wherever you host it, into JVZoo, you should do that. Okay, step three, bonus page. You absolutely have to have a bonus page. You're gonna pre-sell people on the notion of it. Uh, and that's what's what the importance of the bonus page is. So you can pre-sell, you can offer your bonuses. Basically, you can do it. There's a number of ways you can do it. Um, a lot of people that like Brett do his bonus pages as like a, a review. It is a re real proper blog review of the product. Uh, mine is a little more salesy than that, uh, my bonus pages. Um, now, uh, there's one or two things we can do. I think we're going to be running tight on time. What I'll do is I will give everybody a template of the bonus page I use because it's the quickest way to do it. Pretty much, it's really simple. I, I, I go onto the, um, the sales page of the vendor. I just screen grab as much of the relevant uh, images as I can. Usually the salient points, anything graphical that's really quick and easy uh, because I don't want to spend a lot of time over it. As remember, 20 minutes a day. So uh, I screen grab as many of the really salient points and then I just literally do video uh, title, me and him, pictures of us. Okay, so they know it's from me and him. Um, him and me, me and him. Um, video, okay? Then I do a quick introduction, just saying, uh, it's me, why I think this is good, why the product's here, um, that I've got, I've reviewed it, I think it's a good thing, uh, and then hit them into the saving points using those screenshots so you don't have to do a lot of copywriting. You're using the tools to the best advantage. So what I'll do is I'll give you my layout, I'll just, uh, I'll just, um, Everybody, how am I going to do this? How am I going to deliver it? Thank you. I'll, I'll figure out a way and I'll give you a link. I'll give you a download. I think that's the best we'll, pop, we'll pop it in the app, actually. We can pop it in the app. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and that's basically like, right, okay, step four video review. That's what I was saying. This is where I get a lot of uh, traffic from. Video reviews. Most of the sales pages today come with videos. Okay? The quickest way to do a video review is just take their sales video, drag it into video editing. Just record an introduction. It's really quick. It takes like five minutes. You just record your video introduction. You can do it to camera, or you can just take a still and just do audio over the top. So you just introduce it, and then you say, and this is the sales page. You then have your own video. You branded it to you, uh, and it, it works genius. Yeah, and one thing you, one, one cracking way to add to that, you can either go down the line of adding as many bonuses as you can, uh, do make them congruent. Congruency of the bonuses, is so important. You know, if if you're promoting an e-com product, you know, don't have 25 pages of YouTube bonuses because the people, you know, it just doesn't work well together. Uh, the other thing to do is to add something, you know, this product is amazing, however, it doesn't do this. But when you add our little bonus, it does this as well, the missing piece. Yeah, you're making a rounded package. Okay, so make that video because you're making it personal to yourself, okay? This, I don't know if anybody else does this. I just do it because I know it ranks well. Do a Google Hangout, okay? You don't have to do it to anybody. You don't have to invite anybody there. But just launch, a, a, I actually do it through um, YouTube Live. I don't do it because, but honestly, I can't figure out Google Hangouts. That's the only reason. But uh, if you go to YouTube Live, start a live event. On that live event, do a screen share where you go to the sales page. And just scroll down, talking about the product, showing them the sales page. There's two reasons for doing this. First reason, it gives you another video, okay, on YouTube. Because the, the, the video you made before, the new one, with your introduction, you're gonna upload that to YouTube as well, because it's another stream of traffic. Then you do the Hangout, that's yet another stream of traffic. Okay, Hangouts rank really quickly, really well. Okay, so you're gonna get that, particularly on a big launch, that people are, are bonus shopping on, they're gonna go to Google, and they're gonna type. You know, uh, whatever it was, this was instant, it's instant it's review, instant it's best bonus. They're gonna look for it. Now the Google, the, the Google Hangout is gonna rank higher. It's important to do that. Okay. The other thing I do, and I don't know whether a lot of people do this, 
and I don't use my main YouTube account for this. Um, I've never had an issue with it, but I just keep it as a spare just in case. I use a video spinning software. Okay, it's Antonieri's system. Yeah, that one is video spinning is the one I use. There are a few out there. Others are available. <laughs> yeah, probably my link. Um, but that, that's the products I use. Basically what I do is I, I take my little introduction bit and, and just a fraction of the main video, and then I put together some congruent images that I just grab from like a stock image site, put them in one file, get a little bit, two pieces of audio, two or three pieces of audio, put them in a third file, send the video spinner going, you can get 90 unique videos. So the 90 individual videos that you can just then upload to YouTube, rank them all, or at least try to rank them all, and it just gives you a broader stretch. You know, somebody's got one review video, you've got 100. Just gives you a little bit more advantage. There we go, upload everything to YouTube, tag it all. As I say, I use lots of different um, uh, keywords in my tags, uh, mainly based around things like um, best bonus, biggest bonus, uh, most valuable bonus. Um, think about the things that people will be, will be typing in when the launch is going on. Uh, and those are the things you should be trying to rank for. Okay, step five, Facebook ads. Now, um, unfortunately, my, when we did this, the, um, the tracking script didn't find it correctly. So I can't tell you for absolute sure whether it, it worked as well as it did, added some people to the list, and it definitely raised the profile of what we were doing on the social media side. But um, Facebook ads, just the sizes for you, in case you didn't know already, it's 1200 by 628 pixels. Um, always, always, don't send them direct to me from your Facebook ad. It's a good way to get your account slammed straight away. Go to a squeeze page. Make the squeeze page 100% Facebook compliant. What I did with my squeeze page, this was for Instanich, I just, uh, I had something along the lines of free video reveals how to create um, e-com stores in 60 seconds or something like that. It wasn't really hypey. It was, it was very, um, it was very bland, but it got people through the squeeze page and landing directly onto my bonus page where the video played. Okay. As I said, don't be tempted to send them direct to the bonus page or direct to the offer. It's a good one. You're going to want to at least be a little bit stronger in your bonus page, and Facebook aren't going to like that. After they, uh, after they opt in, you drop them into the bonus page. So with Facebook ads, you're building a list as well. So you're building a list of Facebook buyers and running them through the squeeze page to the bonus page. Okay, this is what the kind of ads I have. Now, um, I, I ran three, I knocked this one out within, uh, I think a day, because it was just crap, it didn't work. Um, these two worked really well, this was the better one, uh, and I added this one later. I tried to be use images that just grab the attention, that's a like key, it's a billboard effectively. You wanna make people scrolling through the feed, you wanna make them stop by something that's odd, it doesn't look in place, it looks different. And if you're really smart, you also drop your retargeting pixel on your bonus page as well, so they keep consistently seeing that until they buy, because you find that on the last day, you'll get, if you've been hitting them with those ads all week, you're gonna get a really big slam on the last day. Yeah, exactly, and I'm also gonna be talking more about the the, the uh, Facebook pixel after. Right now, in fact, it's almost like you knew we were doing this, isn't it? It's almost like I looked at the slides. <laughs> right, okay, why do we? That's the number one reason Simon just mentioned. There's another reason, though. You can build a custom audience. If you're, for example, like we are in the IM niche, you can keep that Facebook pixel, because it's a single pixel now. It's not, it's not like it used to be where it's a different pixel for each campaign. It's one pixel, okay? You can build a custom audience that grows over time. So your first campaign is not gonna grow that much. But if you keep the same pixel, you just add to the unique URLs within your Facebook account, it will actually grow your custom audience that is then IM. It'll be your unique IM affiliate custom audience within Facebook. Then, if you want to start running Facebook ads for that, once it's grown a bit bigger, you're going to get a much better result because it's targeted to the kind of people who've already visited your IM offers before. Okay? So that's the reason to do it. How to do it, I'm actually not going to go into because we just don't have time to be able to do this. But Facebook it's has not rocket science. I, I can do it. It's go to Facebook, Power Pixel, stick it in your, in your in head of your uh, bonus page. It's really easy to do. Custom audience, as I just explained, you can grow it because you use a unique URL of your bonus page and just add that to the list of Facebook URLs so it will grow over time. You keep the same custom audience for every campaign you do and it will swell it. As I said, in the first campaign, it's not going to be great, it's not going to do other than, as Simon said, the final day where you can retarget them with advertising. But over time, you do 20, 30, 40 different campaigns, 
you're suddenly getting a nice pile of people in that audience. And it's cheaper as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, solo ads. I said I'm not going to go into this because I don't think now it's worthwhile. We did some analysis of it over the last few campaigns. It just wasn't paying off. It was building a list, but not really producing affiliate sales. So uh, I'm just going to skip through this. Right, social media posts. This is again where we make um, do very well. It helps uh, boost our, our offers up when a campaign's going well. Uh, you know, when a when a launch is going well. Sorry, when it, when it's getting a lot of profile. Uh, sizes making the same as the Facebook um, ads, as I just discussed. Make about a dozen images before the launch. Okay, all different images. Uh, I like to use things. I'll talk about it in a minute that are either funny, controversial, um, odd that they just stand out in the page, make people think twice. Um, things like this. This is, this is exactly the post that I made throughout social media. I'll also comment on the launch, comment on how my promotion of the launch is going. If it's going well, I tend not to if it's not going well. It doesn't make a lot of sense as EBR said. Why would you keep bad things about yourself going online? So I do things like this where I'm saying that, you know, I've got the biggest one. Um, I, I've done lots of innuendo on that before. So this, then I'll... Uh, I think have an issue. Well, so, yeah, I think I'm compensating for something. Um, and then I'll talk about what's going on in the launch. Like, uh, you know, not a bad day's promo. I've got the biggest bonus pack. This is how it's done. And then... Uh, you know, it's just strange images, and uh, I, I try to do things that are just going to make people stop. Let's say there's so many people that are bonus shopping, you want to be the one that's giving them the best one. And then I do uh, the same thing, uh, and these are just uh, over that. This was over the course of, I think, a six day promotion. I was trying to do a promotion, I just uh, was posting fairly consistently. And then Twitter as well. I do the same thing with Twitter at the same time. Often I use the same images, sometimes I use different images and change it up for Twitter. Okay, um, now this is the schedule of posting that uh, we did for this particular campaign. Um, it's not identical for every campaign, but it's pretty similar. It's not far out. Uh, and it usually ends up with being we have something to say here for day three, something new. We usually add a, a, another bonus. So we have another opportunity to contact the list or contact uh, or just make another post. It's another opportunity to say something. If you're just saying nothing, it's difficult to keep making posts or updates. But on day three, we added a new bonus. Do you find that sales do start to sag on about day three? So if we can stick in, uh, I think, if it, have you got the images from the one where we started out on day one, we were number 10 and we won it by the last day? Uh, no, I don't have that one. That was Declan's launch. Yeah. That was um, Bay Profit. It was a really unusual launch because you normally see, you know, uh, on day one, that affiliate has got the lead and they keep it for the, for the week. We started out, I think, either 10th or 11th on day one. No, day one we couldn't even mail the mail. There was a problem with the mail. We yeah. completely lost it. Um, by the last day we won it. Yep. But we kept stacking the value, stacking the value, stacking the value. And it's because of, of this kind of dip. And when you get dips, like it's always it dips in the middle of a campaign. When you add something in the middle of a campaign, it's trying to bring back interest into it. Because you've got to remember, if you're not the only person promoting it, there's probably another 150 people giving them messages. You have to have a reason for them to, to, to look at you again. There's, you know, they, they, they've got so many options to buy from. A lot of people do make the mistake, they'll hit a launch once on day one. If it's not converted for them, they'll leave it, move on to the next one. Oh, that, I mean, that isn't even, I didn't even touch on that, but that's, you know, uh, it kind of affiliate marketing one launch, just do the whole launch. Don't pick a day, don't pick day one, day two. You have to see it through to the end because your competition is likely dropping off here, here, and here. Unless you sound back and then you just send one email and you've won. Yeah. Yeah. Two, but there we go. Day two, three, and four, we can pick up a lot of sales simply because other people are dropping out. And it's where we can pick up a lot of money. But this is the, they all tend to follow this kind of um, flow. So we do a pre launch. And we'll do, uh, I tend to only do one mail on day one, and then just lots of Facebook stuff. Um, day two, two, and then it just follows this whole pattern. And then by day six, we're really hitting the close heart to build the scarcity. So I'm actually doing four emails, like it's, uh, we're getting more. Obviously, if you're not got a partner with a list, you're not going to be able to do the email side of it, but you can, you can kind of replicate that with your social media. So that's exactly the flow that we, we, we go through, and that's, oh, this is, um, okay. One of the main things that, I, it, it may just be me, but I figured I'd show you anyway. Um, I struggle with losing things on my computer. I don't know about everybody else, or is it just me that I see? 
But I lose things all the time. I don't know where I put files and stuff. So what I do is for every campaign, I just create a little TXT file so that um, I know where everything is. I know where my affiliate links are. I know where uh, all my keywords are for my YouTube. And I just put it all into one file and keep that one file on my desktop for the five days of the promotion. That way, if, I ever, if I'm writing an email, I can just go straight into that file, pull out the, um, the, the, the link, uh, and, uh, and just go straight away. So I lost a little tip here. I find it useful. You may not. Okay, and this is the results of what we did. So um, I have to average this uh, in the spreadsheet up here so that I don't absolutely know that the solar has produced anything. That's why I discounted them, because in later uh, tests when I did have the, the tracking working, it uh, proved it wasn't working. But, you know, we got uh, a lot of sales from uh, YouTube uh, and Optimus as well, actually. And uh, essentially the whole thing, we did about 6,800 in that particular promotion. And then with some trickle through from other promotions, the whole week ended up to be about seven grand. In, uh, and that's just in pure affiliate promotion. I, I don't even think we did win a prize, or maybe $300. Yeah, I think it came about fifth on that one. Yeah, it, it wasn't like we didn't win anything. Any that was all just through pure commissions. And so that's, that's exactly how we do it. So now actually, you have pretty much everything that we did. You know, it's, it's not rocket science. You know absolutely everything we did um, to get those successful affiliate promotions. And it's in less than 20 minutes a day. It takes maybe an hour to set it up now, but 20 minutes a day during the campaign, that's all it takes. But as Simon intimated before, um, affiliate marketing is really just one side and the small side of our business, our kind of joint business now together. Our much bigger and more profitable side is actually in the development of digital assets, digital products. Um, and we tend to like evergreen products because we're able to sell them over and over again, not just, not just once during launch. I think, who was it who said before that? Was it, I think it was Luke on opening day, said that you should view launches really as just the, the first step in your business because they're great, they blow up, and you can get a lot of promotional um, revenue from them. But you've still got a lifetime worth of sales in there. It's, you shouldn't discount them straight away. You've also got to add in a fresh list of subscribers as well. Yeah, exactly. So, with the, you know, you, you get into that product launch space, you can, you can build your subscribers, you can do more with email marketing. And that's really where this builds on. And these are the kind of um, results. Well, there's missing there. Yeah. There we go. It comes in. Those are some of the launches that I, I've done over the last uh, few years. Um, you know, we've, we've had some great launches. Um, that's, um, you know, quarter of a million dollars in five days, 650. No, 600,000 in three days, 159,000 in 12 days, uh, 106, plenty of six-figure launches. I think that one's yours at the top there. And uh, the last launch that I did uh, was uh, one I worked on with Andy and Neil, and we did $747,480 in six days. I think it's actually five days. That was just the egg we closed, and that was the people in the morning because of the time difference. Yeah. Now, obviously, not everyone's going to get those results. You know, some products are that amazing, some products aren't. Um, we have got a couple of products coming out which are amazing, and you can see the banners from for them here. So a couple of awesome products there. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, and this is where we're focusing our goals on now. And this is where uh, we're focusing, and I know that, uh, you know, a lot of you have the, the welcome bags and stuff with the, the high roll uh, stuff on it. That's, that's Simon and I's new venture together. Um, what we're basically trying to do... And this for, uh, Mobimatic's actually coming from one of our, uh, uh, our high rolls uh, students yes. there, from OP. Yes. And it's um, basically we're taking people um, who aren't in this space, who haven't been able to hit those kind of six-figure launches, and putting them through, um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a boot camp, essentially. It's just basic uh, things that we do to try to make the best um, chances of hitting that kind of... I know we all set this figure. It's not a failure if you don't get a six-figure launch, of course not. But everybody in the back of their mind would love to have that, you know, that 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 notch in the belt. You know, that I did a six-figure. So, so one thing we've both learned was from looking at other coaching courses is that I'm going through them now. Yeah, personally. there isn't a, a magic formula because if there was, we could just you could just turn up on registration day. We give you the magic formula in the envelope, and you could go home, and that would be the event. That would be. It'd be a lot quicker for us. <laughs> they go enjoy, haven't they? Exactly, and each one's different, and that's why we take, um, I, don't, I, I won't call it a holistic view to what we're doing, but it's we take each person individually and find out what their product is and work with them specifically to help with that product. 
And that's exactly what we do with you, right, Opie? Yeah. You, 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 in fact, Opie said to me, he saw the stock trading and he, he tell them the story, Opie. You called me, you wanted to cancel, right? Yes. You wanted to cancel because you saw the stock trading because he's too basic for you. And I had to explain to Opie that everybody's an individual. We work with people on an individual basis. That's what it's about. It's not about just having a one size fits all coaching. How do you have one size fits all coaching? We have products going from everything from email marketing, right through to everyone, everyone, everyone also brings different skills to the table. Um, I mean, I was having a conversation at the bar with Andy the other day, uh, and Andy is one of the most highest qualified and genius guys in the accounting, in accounting, that's what he does. He's a superstar accountant. He's like, I said to him, why have you never offered that kind of service in internet marketing? I never thought about it. But you know, if you're that close to yourself, then what other people see in you is completely different. Exactly. And you know, it isn't a picture. That's what we said, and we built that 100% correctly that this is not about selling you anything but <laughs> you did have some free bars so uh, if anybody would if, would if anybody would be interested in seeing what it's all about and, and, and coming to talk to us about doing it we're not going to pitch you from the stage it's not what it's about but if you are interested in working with us just come and find us we'll take you all the way through the system and let you know what it's all about and that's all we got for you today enjoy your coffee we've got a lovely map for coming up very very soon thank you